Welcome back to Fashion and Fuck Boys. This is season two. Booyaka. <laughs> shot. Okay, girls and boys. Did, you, was, did they, we have to ask the people if they missed us. Oh, I don't know if that goes without saying, but did you miss us? Did you guys miss us? We missed you. Oh, but we were being uh, excited. I didn't fill up yourself. <laughs> What's going on? Were they having a moment? I was having a moment. Okay. I was thinking of Buju, but we're not up to Buju yet. We're going we to let y'all know what happened. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but we got stuff to catch y'all up on. Yes. Other and things went down. Let's introduce yes. our big time name brand. Friend. Famous. And guest. Guest. In the house, in the building. Just Vlad. He Hello. famous, y'all. We're still working with a program. So we Wagwan with the Wagwan. <laughs> What's happening? Right. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good night. Uh, good evening. Good evening. So now, for the month of March, we're replacing the word good with buju. So if you want to say, instead of saying good morning, you say buju morning. If you want to say good evening, it's buju evening. And good night is buju I'm, I'm night. people in the side eye. You got a problem with buju? So I'm going to say she gave me some buju sex? Yeah. No. That's great. That sounds that's crazy. crazy. Buju <laughs> sex? That sounds, <laughs> yo, so she gave me right? some buju that head? That crazy. Yo, oh, that shit was magic. Yeah. Come on, cool. it could it could work. Put your head. Try it. Don't try it. Nah. <laughs> try it in your mind. <laughs> Say amazing head then. Don't just good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good head. What are you dating What's for good anyway? Head? The good head. 16? What the fuck is that? That's boring. I mean, I'm sorry, wrong age. <laughs> Wow, I didn't even. Who's getting head at sixteen? Right. <laughs> well, good head at sixteen. Who's getting good head at sixteen? My little boyfriend true. when I was sixteen fought somebody because they lied and said. I remember that. You remember that? Because mm-hmm. they lied and said that um, I gave him head, so he went and fought the guy, and I felt so special. Where he at now? He's still around. He's my. We're actually really good friends, nah, but he's married with children. What's happening, man? Yeah. So. Chivalry never that. Di- Chivalry is never dead. Chivalry is never dead. Never. All right, guys, <coughs> let's jump right in. We have a lot to catch you up on. Yes, we do. So much shit happened. We were, Ray. Oh, my God. We were away in Jamaica having a buju week. Hello. Y'all didn't even look up with me. You did? Yeah, Everybody was there. You were not in Jamaica. Yes, I, I was. You were Jamaica? And then I changed my mind. You wanna let nobody know? You didn't even say anything. Yeah, I was in Jamaica. You were not in Jamaica. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. What? What did you mean? Friday. Not in Jamaica. Friday. I need receipts. I was in. I well, was anyway, in, we I was had on a, Church of Nostra. A, a great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm done. It's Jamaica. It's Bob Marley on <laughs> um, um, <laughs> street or something. No, no. It's not a, well, the whole of Jamaica was in Jamaica. Oh, right. Um, and the whole of Brooklyn. And the whole of Brooklyn was in Jamaica. It was so good. But when that's right. not what. First, we talk fashion. You know, the, you know the lineup. Okay. All right. So. First, on fashion. Um, let's keep it light because we got a guest in the building, so you know, let's just keep it, just you light. know, yeah. So, okay, we'll just talk about the relaunching of some urban lines that I'm very excited about, guys. FUBU's making Pow. a comeback. <laughs> yes. After all the bullshit has gone down with Gucci and Montclair, I'm going to give these niggas no props. We need some, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So, Kalia, tell us a little bit about the FUBU relaunching. No? <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. All right, so. <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> Thank you, Kalia. Google <laughs> was relaunching so, their line, yeah. I believe, in um, like a collaboration with Century 21. Yes. I haven't seen the line. No. <laughs> but maybe they're just going to revamp the things that they did from the past. I'm not sure. I don't want to talk on it because I don't really know, but I'm just happy they're relaunching. Yeah. Let's put it <laughs> Maybe that's also relaunching. I heard she repurchased the line. Some bullshit. Yeah, really bullshit. And so, so I'm looking. We're looking did, forward to that. Who did she repurchase it from? I don't know who she bought it from. I just know it's something. Some purchase was involved. Let's say she bought it back from um, the, the ex-husband. What name Russell. Is it? Russell. Russell gave all his. Um, not I don't know if equity, but he gave up all his principal. Uh, <laughs> No, no, right. not when he moved to Bali, when all that sex scandal, the Me Too movement came for him right. too. And he, and he, to he was like, oh, he moved right, away. Y'all can all have it. Yeah. Did. And so then he moved. I don't know if he owned it anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know that part. I know he moved away conveniently. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. But all right, Russell. So, yeah. <laughs> we see you. Fashion topics. Then, what also, else? Um, so, Tom Ford. 
Oh, the thing with Melania? Yeah. Okay. So, there's like a meme going around. I don't know if you saw the meme that they said about Tom Ford not making a dress. Or he because never she, dress. she has poor taste in men right. or something like this? Some yeah, shit. he doesn't yeah. dress for women with poor taste in men. And, and that are prostitutes. prostitutes. Right. That steal, that steal speeches. Right. The meme is hilarious, but apparently that was not a direct quote. <laughs> I didn't know that. I know it was a direct quote. I was like, it yeah. wasn't? No. It wasn't. Because it would be some top it's, it's thing fitting, to say. Right? Yeah, it like it's fitting. very fitting for him to say. So. He That's didn't why. say that. So I guess he kind of politically corrected it. He had a recent interview where he said that, you know, he didn't say that per se, but he did not. He did say he wouldn't dress her. Yeah. Firstly, because he's a Democrat. S- and because he doesn't fit the size requirement of him. That's not what he said. <laughs> That's a lie. Because I, I don't see some this, big people in some top four. <laughs> he actually, what he said actually makes sense. He said because he's going to he doesn't believe that someone who is in the White House and wearing something so expensive. It's kind of like, you know, what's that queen when she's like, let them eat cake? You know what I mean? Like, you could afford to wear Tom Ford mm. on the arm of Donald Trump while he got kids in cages. It just mm. wouldn't send the right message. message. So I that's mean, really why he doesn't. He chose not to dress her. Oh, he chose not to do it. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. I mean, he can still go out and buy some Tom Ford, though. So yeah, of course. Yeah, anyone can buy Tom Ford, yeah. but if you're in the White House, you shouldn't be. Clothes are gifted to you. Right. Okay. These are goals. Okay, I got, a new, I got a new goal now. Yeah, clothes are gifted the, to you. Yes. You didn't know that? No, what? clothes are gifted to me, but... um. Tom Ford? Not Back yet. in the day, yeah. No, oh, no, for fancy. real. No, I used to actually work with a lot of... He was my boss's client. You have any left? You have any left? No, not for women. So I, I'll talk to you, man. We'll we'll take some. So <laughs> what, what you got? <laughs> what you got? What you got? What you got? <laughs> We're addicts. <laughs> I see. <laughs> fashion addicts. Ex- exactly. It's the name fashion addicts. All right. So I guess that's what we got for fashion topics. What's yeah. going on in uh, hot topics? So, Your okay. favorite. All right. This is my favorite. So I want to ask permission first. Like, where do you want me to start? With. I want to start with Wendy. Let's start. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Story first, opinion second. True facts. I can't do that. You do that. You tell the story. I don't know the story. So the story is, like, I'm going to do it in my Kalia voice. <laughs> the story. <laughs> This is my career voice. The story is that Wendy Williams was at a Soho house. Not a Soho house, sorry, wrong name. Sober house. Oh, sorry. I'm not sober, so. (laughs) The story is that Wendy Williams is now currently staying at a sober house that she has been staying for quite some time now, and her husband of umpteen years dropped her off there before her hiatus on the popular Wendy Williams show. That was good. That was good. That was good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> on the popular Wendy Williams show and he brought his next woman and that's what happened. Oh, and also and she would have said oh too. Uh-huh. And also it's it's claimed <laughs> it like that? suspected is it claimed or suspected? Suspected sounds Speculated. good. Speculated. Speculated. Hey, big word. Bo, bo, bo. <laughs> Go ahead. Budge, budge speculated. speculated. It's been speculated. That was speculated. a budge word. <laughs> <laughs> it's been speculated that her arm injury that she claimed happened some time ago happened through an altercation between her and her husband in regards to said mistress. Ooh. Yeah. That was good. I Clear. You could get some pointers from the fake Kalia. Hello, fake Kalia is on it. Right. All right. <laughs> now. Opinion time. What the fuck? First of all, let me first. Oh my God. Let me first and foremost. I always say this. There's levels of fuck boys, you know. It is a, but he's not a fuck boy because you know first. He's of a all, fuck man. No, he does what he's allowed to do. We've been over this already. So. Uh, whether or not you're allowed to be a fuck boy is regardless of whether or not you're a fuck boy. You're a fuck boy. That's one part. Whether or not you're allowed to be a fuckboy is the second part. You're still a fuckboy, though. In the Bible, Genesis 13, states, no, we have to speak our Bible, because you have to understand the core of the problem before you can fix it. Oh, this this is not my problem. (laughs) You can weigh in. (laughs) No, she was just talking about it. No, but the Bible states that Eve's punishment for convincing Adam to eat the apple is that she will now feel pain to bear a child, but... Love her husband more than the child. So if it's in the Bible that we're cursed for men, I get it. But now at this point and at this juncture in our lives, especially if you're Wendy Williams talking everybody else's business, 
were Adam and Eve Africans? Because if they weren't, I don't want to follow that creed. I mean, <laughs> Mother Africa is where life begins, so yeah, obviously. Well, the, the, the Garden of Eden is Africa. Mother Africa. Hello. 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 Come on, pay attention, Vlad. Jesus was not born in Africa, though. Where was he born? Everybody was born in Africa. Africa's the motherland. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the story. <laughs> That's another topic. This is not fashion to fuck with. It's okay, like sorry, religion sorry. and um, priests. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we go left. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, that's true. Listen, don't take us off track. We'll be on down down the road down the road. CJ said Marie Antoinette. That's hilarious. <laughs> Hi, Mo. Okay, I'm sorry. You don't have your board. Can you? You don't have your mic. <laughs> and she refused to tell the story. Okay. She's silent. We are disobedient today. Let's have another drink. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, Kalia, what's next? What's our next? You didn't tell your story. What you said was the Bible quote. What's your opinion on Wendy my Williams? My opinion is that I told you my opinion. What? She's cursed and she's a big jackass, and that's why she's not being upfront and forward. And it's oh, and people in glass love to. Let's throw talk stones. about the fact that. Just, I don't understand what's wrong with you. Have a child to set an example for. You got this nigga whooping on you, out in public with his mistress, dropping you off at rehab while he go fuck this mistress. Who you talking about? And you when go on oh, TV every day and talk about, about uh, everybody else. <laughs> Wait, who you thought we were talking about? They were talking about Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> uh, uh, Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? I am here, but I'm a little, the, it was a lot of Hennessy. Wendy Williams, you didn't hear that I whole? know, but I thought y'all went to another topic, but it sounds well, I mean, parallel, sad, no? Sadly, sadly, yes, that's what it is. Damn. That's what we deal with. You don't feel sorry for us? Well, not us, but for, for women that have these situations? No. Why? Because he's a fuckboy. No, no. He's not help, Marie. You wrong you know with that. Like you don't know you me know either. He's, he's not. He's not. a boy. I'm not a boy. Mm. Oh. I'm a man. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Put me on. On the what? Yeah, that, I mean, you know what? Let's, 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 let's get Camera's there. Camera's still we, rolling? We're, we're here. 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 We're so correct now. me. Correct me, Vlad. With? Anything. It, it did sound similar to <coughs> so, so tell me. It was parallel. Yeah. Yeah. So it did you know, sound I just didn't know what, what was going on. It sounds very... Oh, okay. I remember Tristan is Jamaican. Really? Yeah. Oh, so it's all... Tristan uh, Trevor. Tristan That's his real name? Tristan yeah. Trevor. Thompson? Yeah. Tom, is it, yeah. Tristan Trevor Trevor Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, that, that is some real Jamaican shit to do. <coughs> no, 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 no. Like no real friends to let her know, like, girl. Like Tristan, Kyle. No, we don't have no Kyle. Three T's. Like Jamaican dirt. <laughs> like, we talked about this already. So let me oh, okay. Go back again. But, yeah, it's, it, it does seem similar. And, you know, women want to love their man and they want to alienate and everybody else that's not with the program that they with and don't see the lie that they have convinced themselves to believe. Hmm. Like the magnifier is on you even more when you're on TV. So yeah, I don't understand who you thought she was hiding that from. And where's her friends? Where's the, where's y'all going to be like, bitch? You look crazy. It's so weird too. I, I don't care that I'm saying this. Um, <laughs> I, I was doing a spot for the Wedding New Williams show mm-hmm. and um, it was like a production assistant because Wendy was like, we were doing a thing together, and um, dude was like, he he just popped up, like popped up, like yo, Kevin. I don't know his name. <laughs> oh no, like, not the production assistant. Who was it? No, no, no. The, the husband showed up, but the production assistant was just saying, "Oh my God, he's not supposed to be here." And this and that and the third. I'm like, my guy, what the hell going on? Yeah, right. And then um, she's like, doing we're doing this thing, doing the thing. I took a selfie, you know, did a little video thing with her and then the production assistant was like um he's not gonna like that i'm like not gonna like what I'm like you being, so, you being so she being so cozy next to you or something i'm like he'll lose if he wants to fight but i'm just <laughs> like um <laughs> I, I was on it that it morning no i was on it that morning i was really on it that morning i was doing i did like 38 push-ups oh, okay. i was really feeling myself <laughs> so um and then um, just disappeared. It was like, a, that's a weird relationship. I, I, I see it. It's an it. open like, relationship. They don't, um, I don't know. Don't hold me to that. No, yeah, I can't Don't uh, they, say Don't they that. stay like, like with You know what I got to say, though? Allegedly. That's what I got to say. Allegedly. Let me say something, because all people tend to overlook the point when you start 
that he's whooping on her. You know what I'm saying? That's what we were talking about, the alleged situation between Fab and Emily. Yeah. When someone's whooping on you, it's a different type of situation. Yeah. It may not be open. It's open because he makes it be open because he's whooping her ass. That's true. She may not have a choice. That's true. She may not so have niggas is looking at her might, like, what's she wrong? She may not with have she any may brothers. Not have any say so in this situation. She may not have any brothers. She could be in an abusive relationship. That's true. She don't got no brothers. Uh, well, I don't done. know. Or you know what I'm saying, being done. Whatever. Doing what she's told. Right? And honestly, if you don't know better, you don't you don't do better. And if your parents, I'm don't. sure she knows better. No, you don't. <laughs> How can you not know better? You're it's, talking about it every day. No, about someone else. It's a disconnect. That's like the whore. <laughs> that used to be a whore that's now judging someone that's a whore. Or that's like the, the, the booster that no longer boosts and laughing at someone that got caught stealing. Everybody, everybody, literally nine out of 10 people are disconnected from their own fuckery. A lot of people are like, I'm like that, you're like that. We're all like that. We we're are. disconnected from our fuckery. We are. A lot we of are a little like bit that. because it was kind of like that. It was just like, 444, Jay-Z's album, mm -hmm. like you were basically telling people not to do what you did. Yeah. To, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, it was like, kind of like, I think oh, so what are you saying? Like, I it was just like, bro. Do you, as I you say, were, not do as I do. Yeah, but I think Don't do as I do, but you did it. And yeah. there's some people, you know, I understand the punishments of today and stuff in society, with, you know, like that. But even in this day, like the, the punishment for like certain things aren't as harsh as they were back then. That's true. And you know certain like, you know, opportunities for men aren't, are greater than back then. So, I mean, if a dude could scam and get his, like I don't tell anybody not to do, I would joke on him, yeah, yeah. I joke on everybody. Yeah. But I'm not gonna say, yo, don't do that. Like, you don't know this person's way of life. Right. You don't know this Where person's, you don't know any of it. So to have an opinion or to tell somebody, don't do this mm -hmm. when you used to do this. It's just like. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Especially if they're going to say. I got it easier than you do. Yeah. Especially when they say don't do this without any backstory or any like, okay, don't do this because. And there's no explanation on why. Because I feel like with, like you said, Jay-Z444, it's almost like, okay, now I'm older and I'm wiser. Exactly. It was like the OG who was just telling the dudes on the block, yo, this is what's about to come. This is how it goes. But yeah. it's not the same. Now, it's not even the same road. Exactly. And now his message is deeper. So it's not a, oh, don't drink Cristal anymore. Okay, we don't drink Cristal. Yeah, own don't everything. Wear, own everything. All right, cool. Anymore. But I only make $300 a month, <laughs> a, a, a week, bro. Like, what are you telling? Right. People that make, like, you got to tap into people to relate to them mm -hmm. as you can. Not on their be level, a billionaire and right. tell people, yo, man, you got to own land. Man, I make $300 a week. Yeah, but to say to someone that makes $300 a week, you got to own land, that means that your mentality, financially wise, and it <laughs> 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 That just means that you are not limited. Sponsor Tennessee. Hello, Tennessee. <laughs> that means you're not limited. You're not limited to the three hundred dollars a week that you make. We've all been in that space where of we're course. making a small amount of money. He's just letting you know that AI hey, level here. up. Level up. There's more to I mean, it. You can't buy land, but maybe you can uh, put twenty dollars away so that one day you can yeah. purchase something. That maybe will. that three hundred dollars goes to that three hundred dollars a week goes to something that will equal to four hundred a lot. Four hundred dollars a week rent. Yeah, feel what I'm and saying? Like you could point. be making three hundred dollars, but your rent three hundred dollars a week, but your rent would accumulate to four hundred dollars a week. So it's cer certain things you can't. It's certain ways to deliver messages to people mm -hmm. that is not so like yo yo. You still doing that? Like dog. But what's the what's the what's the footprint? What's the game? There's no footprints. There's no footprints. There's no. Listen, I tell people, everyone, you, you, people say I have flaws. and I don't have any flaws. I have no flaws at all. I have absolutely no flaws because who are these perfect people that we're modeling ourselves after? Mm -hmm. Who are these perfect people Touché. that we're modeling? And I don't have flaws because I'm an individual. Mm. I'm an individual. There's no one like me. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. So who, who, what is the thing of like, Yo, this is the thing to do if everyone's an individual. It's a model. I find that everybody that has a success story per se, whether it be grand or minimal, have the same blueprint. 
So yes, we all have the same. Beliefs. My mother's my mother my mother's success story uh-huh. is a Haitian woman mm-hmm. who came to America with her eight brothers and sisters, mm-hmm. married a, a a a man, had three kids, living in an apartment building about to retire. That's her success story. Okay. If you can say that's not success, you can't you can't measure someone's success. No, no, no. When I say I don't think anyone can say that. Yeah, I didn't say that. Oh, I, you were saying like successful people no. and like No, no, is no, it no, the, no, no. When I say when I say Sorry. anyway. When I say your success story, I mean, and that's why I said from grand to minimal cuz everybody has their own definition of what successful is. Some people right. want a house. Some people want an apartment. Some people want a car. Oh, if I could just get a car. Oh, if I could just buy this book. Oh, if I could just. Oh, if I could just. Whatever the just is that the person has in their head to be their level of success, Mm -hmm. that is what I'm saying when I say someone's success level. When we started, we were like, oh, if well, I was, I don't know, my sister, when we first started, it was like, oh, if we could just get 5,000 followers. You know what I mean? That was my goal. And I thought we would make it. Now, of course, you know, once you don't cap yourself, or wait, we surpass don't that. Don't put no a cap. ceiling. Don't put a ceiling cannot, on it. So I think that oh, should shit. be more so the message when I say <coughs> Right. I think I would okay. receive that 444 yeah. in their own way. Don't, yeah, it, well, yeah. Me, I, I, I took it as like, up, oh, my God, this is grown up shit. I'm... Damn, I'm old now. No, no, no. It wasn't too grown for me. It was like just my lane. I'm like, damn, I'm an old nigga? Like, is it, like this was okay. my music. I don't listen to, uh, you know, the, the, the Uzi Verts. And the, like that yeah. stuff doesn't interest me. But I get it. With generation, with time, it's just like, all right, cool. That's acceptance, that's acceptance. People before me were like, Rakim is the best rapper I ever heard. I'm like, nigga, you are stupid. Exactly. Andre 3000 is the best rapper I've ever heard. Because that's who you know. Exactly. So now so, who you know being Jay-Z, and that's who the person that you followed through with all of his levels of his, even mm-hmm. him evolving. So with his evolution, you can see that, like he said, what's the best thing? Credit. No rapper's talking about fixing their credit. And if you didn't know that, him being the A lot rapper, of people in my DMs about it, though. Exactly. Like credit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Fix your credit. With buying real estate, with the, the real estate downtown Dumbo. Just leveling up, basically. Leveling up. Yeah. It's just all about leveling up and taking it to bring the up next level. Bring, uh, we bringing up to... Pre- preguntas. I'm not a fuck. Well, no, you're gonna give your it's subjective. Own. <laughs> it's subjective. Hold on. Let me get the questions. Mm-hmm. Sub- subjective thing. We'll find out after these questions. Oh, please. <laughs> this is a, this we'll is a find boys. out. Let me make sure my. Sorry. <laughs> make sure my stuff is near. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a line of questions that we ask all of our guests. Everybody has different answers, but they all get the same question. So first, yeah. tell everybody who Vlad is. Yeah. Uh, who is just Vlad? Who's just Vlad? Who is just Vlad? Cre- uh, Vladimir Bartholomew Thelonious Rasputin Slocum Calix the Third, born. Stop <laughs> lying. That's not your name. We all got smartphones, so you could Google that. Um, That's your whole name. Vladimir Bartholomew Thelonious Rasputin Slocum right Calix the Third. So slow down. So Vlad- Vladimir, Vladimir Bar- Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Why did they give you so many names? I'm, the th- I'm a third. Okay. So we have everybody's oh, name. So you gotta add everybody. I no, you don't add everybody. You just name the given the same name, and then you just put a, a Roman number after your name. So do you, do you know who each person is in My your grandfather, name? Vladimir Bartholomew Thelonious Rasputin. So, so who? The Rasputin? First. That's the name what? of the uh, They named you what? That's the name what? They named you Marie? Lolita <laughs> Marie Lynch. Okay. Don't be disrespectful. Uh, well, don't be disrespectful then, too. I'm saying Rasputin, you know who that Rasputin is, right? Rasputin is from the Eddie Murphy movie. Rasputin no. That's what was she's in the Eddie Rasputin Murphy Rasputin was somebody else. I can't remember who it is. I'm going to tell you right now. It's probably a part, one of his ancestors, right? I don't know. I didn't you don't even that know deep. who it is, and you give me attitude. When you give a great I'm giving you attitude because it's my name. Like, no, I'm not saying like, anything wrong with him. I'm just saying, do you know who Rasputin is? That's all I was saying. I doubt they named me after that person. Oh, that name is after that person. Okay, so go ahead. Tell me, tell us who. Like, I'm getting too stuck on the names. Yeah, yeah you were, y'all was doing this. Well, no, you know. Don't you act like you wasn't respecting a response after that five name. Re- Come on. I say it all the time. Okay. And no one says anything. Okay. No. Whatever. All right. So, um, 
Vlad, Vladimir Bartholomew Thelonious Rasputin, Sokum Kalix the Third, born. Um, I'm not born in Flatbush. I'm born in Woodhull Hospital, and okay. uh, right here, close. Yeah, what is that? William? What is that? Bush? No, it's Bushwick. Oh, it's yeah. not Williamsburg, brother. It's like you're born in Williamsburg. I'm sorry to hear that, but <laughs> I'm born in Woodhull Hospital. Uh huh. Williamsburg. Were you on time? Huh? Were you on time? I don't know. 7:43 p.m. I don't know no, if like, that was were on time. You early or late? Like, was I was on time. I was on time. Was I guess. Right on time? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Full term. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. What else? Comedian, actor, uh, Ooh, actor. photographer. Uh, I do. I do. I wear a lot of hats. What made you? Say well, put that? us on. Tell yeah, us about like, the hats. No. Let, like, what made you say? Oh, when did you realize you were funny? Uh, June eighth, nineteen eighty nine. What happened? Uh, I was going to 1989 or 1990, one of the two. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know it was June 8th. Mm-hmm. Um, we were going to Coney Island. Mm-hmm. And um, my godmother's a Jamaican woman. Oh. Well, one of them is a Jamaican woman, Athlete Henry. I love you. <laughs> um, she was my, also my daycare teacher. You and what? My daycare teacher was my godmother. Oh, okay. Um, and we are going to Coney Island. I lost my, my swim trunks that day. I remember a lot of shit, which is, well, excuse my language. Cool. But, yeah, so that day it was going to Coney Island, and then um, we're in the van. Vernon is like, Vernon was the driver. It was like, yo, we ready to go. And I said some Pee Wee Herman joke. Oh. And uh, everybody laughed. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, say it again. <laughs> I said it again, and it was, I got the same reaction. I'm like, oh. And how old were you, seven? No, I was a seven, 1989. I was like five. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Five, six. Six years old. Wait, wait, wait. 1999, you were five? No, 1999. I said 1989. Oh, okay. Yeah. 1989, got it. Yeah, it was like Pee Wee Herman, and then after that, I was just like, okay, I'm funny. And then my dad used to tell me, like, says Clune, which is clown. Uh-huh. That's kind of weird now, hearing it. <laughs> it's like my dad used to call me clown when I was a kid, because I used to love to wear, uh, like, uh, like glasses with the eyes hanging out, or or just do things to make people just laugh. Be in characters and stuff. Yeah, okay. always used to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm so Vlad is an actor, comedian. Um, I don't sing anymore. Um, musician, you name it. You're creative. I'm a creative. Okay. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah. Okay. So what's your end goal? Retirement, Cayman Islands, school franchises. Like, what's your end goal in all of this? I mean, I, I think I hope that's everybody's end goal what's is to help. Like but um, to help, but nice machete. Um, um, I'm just gonna have a farm. Farm. I'm a just farm? gonna have a farm. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have a farm in um. Haiti, of course. Well, I own the land now. Okay. Um, oh, so you started the process? No. Well, the process started for me. Um, <laughs> my father passed away last year, okay. so it left me all this uh, stuff, me and my sister. So I'm just going to be a farmer. I just want to be a, like, that's my success. Like, I don't want it that the heavy, like, whatever comes with, you know, what people consider success. I, I just want to you know, be comfortable. That's success for me. Yeah. So I want to farm. I want to ride a, a horse every day. <laughs> Straw hat, overalls with no shirt oh, on under that. Like one just, strap the, just, and the, the one strap just the denim sure. joint. Straw hat, and I'm on my horse on my land. And of course, you know, it'll be a farm, but the the farm, the house would be plush. Of course, it'll be like big screens and elevators of and course. stuff like that. But It'll still be on a farm. That's that's my goal. But do you see how that's such a card? Because you know when we're in in this millennial, millennial time, yeah. Time but I, are, I don't know. I, I I think I'm tired of it. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of no, over tired. the social. Thing. I'm kind of jaded over the uh, yeah. I'm kind of jaded over people being everybody's stuff. Is just like all right enough already. Like we we I get it. This is what you do, but it's just. I don't want. I don't want that life. I don't want the life to where I'm like. I get know, what you're saying. Like mix. almost like I feel like with with us and what we're doing, like our brand, the fashion addicts. I don't want to be perfect in every picture. Right. I want to be myself. I don't want to have to watch what we're saying in everything. I don't want to have to be censored. You're, you're taking away from self. For, and you're taking away from the organicness of of 
what it is, why you the genuine originally, nature of who you are. Yeah, this is like, and why nah. you originally showed interest exactly. in us. So, so it's kind of like what happens is once what what I've seen so far is once Hollywood or once once Hollywood touch your touch body, you. you're done. You know, no, nah, once Hollywood <laughs> gets. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. It ain't not like that. Well, I don't know if it's something like that. I hear a lot of stories. I, I, I lived in Cali for, you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah? How was yeah. That? What was that like? Uh, horrible. Cause How I, long were you there? Six months. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is before the scammers and everybody from Brooklyn moved over there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, lived in, I lived in um, Sherman Oaks. Okay. That's, um, talk to me, man. You just, huh? Uh, this is the interview's over here. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> Barbara. So no, but I want to hear what he's actually went. This is like a le- twelve years ago, probably. Twelve so years ago. So you're before your time. I'm so before my time. Yeah, you're I'm about to start another time. life. As you say. <laughs> yeah. So it, it was just that. I live in Sherman Oaks, uh, Studio City. Um, so yeah. It was kind of weird over there. Really? What was weird about it? Because it's weird. Everybody's like LA scene is cool. LA, LA is just LA. Is, you know, no, like you can't be. A, you can't. Okay, you can't be a person from New York City. W- you know, where it's like, yeah, we're real. We yeah, son. Like can't niggas real. is real out right. here. And then you go to a place that's built off of smoke and mirrors. Like that's what Hollywood is. It's okay. all the like, glitz and glamour. We've, heard, and we've that. heard that. So it's like, I'm like yeah, I go to the same gym as um, Jack Nicholson. I'm like, wow. What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> right. Who cares? But can you, can you bring the, the bread and butter, please, sir? Like, <laughs> you're a waiter. He's like, you're a waiter. I get it. You're like, yo, yeah, we here in Hollywood, but don't give me the Jack Nicholson and me going to the same gym. Like, yeah. Nigga, like, I'm not, Impressed you know, by that. Yeah. I'm not, you know, degrading what you are, what you do, but why do you want me to believe that a waiter and Jack Nicholson, who's, who's had, Floor seats to Lakers games since the seventies, and you go to the same gym. Mm. Like, why would he want to be? But and not even that. Maybe he's telling the truth. But why is Who that knows, even? A t- uh-huh, it just saying. wasn't relevant. Right, that's that's what it was. It was just he's like, not, yo, it's true. Is it, 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 were you fishing? Like, mm. all right, cool. You see some black guy in a, in a mm. you know a dope mm. restaurant in in, in he's a, fishing. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Me and Jack and I'm like, what that had to do with anything? Like, I just asked you for bread and butter. So he was fishing. Okay. Let's get some good stuff. You ready? Take a sip. No, nah, I don't need to take a sip. Sure. I'm going to save this for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's later now? It's later now. <laughs> Being a successful man in the game, because you are successful in our eyes. Super. Okay. Not in my eyes. Okay. <laughs> we have a saying, the money don't match the hype. So it doesn't. Exactly. I'm, I'll, I'm I'll, be the, I'll be the first person to yeah, push Yeah, money that. don't match yeah. the hype. We so say that often. That. So if we were looking at ourselves through other people's eyes, mm-hmm. meaning successful, that's what I mean. How does that affect your date in life? Why is it sitting up so? Move it. Oh, that was a good question. I was actually, I was actually, I actually saved something today because it was like, like it tells you like the zodiac signs and how they are and stuff. And I was like, oh shit, this shit is actually kind of accurate. I've been saying that. Mm. It's kind of accurate. It's this woman. I forgot her name. Well, it's on the thing, but okay, so go ahead. she was just saying like how Capricorns are. I mean, me, I don't believe in stuff like that. You're crazy. a Capricorn? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like Jesus Christ. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Interesting. Yeah, so um, it was just like, like I get it, but but what is it like? What is it like that you? What is one of the common things that you had occurred? Two women that don't know each other. What was some of the misconceptions that they had about you? Or experiences, or just experiences. A lot of them is just like my attention. I'll be honest. My attention is not like there as it should be. Well, com- my communication's horrible. Mm-hmm. I'll say that my communication's h- horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, my attention, not to say my attention, my affection is, is dope, but it's just like. After you finish with your affection. No, it's not even affection. Affection, affection doesn't even necessarily <laughs> have to be. you release your affection. No. Your attention. <laughs> that doesn't even <laughs> have to be. How I release my affection could be, uh, um, hey, uh, you know, I, no, 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 I no, brought no. you What is a shit. common complaint? That's, That's what like I said. Avoiding the question. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dancing. I'm not dancing. Okay, I'm just so saying. What's a common complaint women have about you? A bite. Um, I bite too hard. 
<laughs> Ask any of them. What else? Any what of them. Else? I, bite, I bite too hard. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> um, la- it, 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 like my, my attention will dwindle d- after will you dwindle. sleep with them. No. No, Even it's not after. Even before you sleep with them. No. After I thought sleep with them, like, the, that does, that's not the... That's not the you know measuring so point the, for me. So the common thread is your attention dwindles My after attention a while. My attention kind of dwindles after a while okay. because I'm so like, like I wanna. Yeah, like a mad genius. I, w- I just wanna do everything. Yeah, that's yeah. everything. Yeah, like a mad scientist. Everything. Like I'm, 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 I was putting out mixtapes. I was putting out short films. Oh, I was putting so you out. Don't got, you don't got time for women. I was basically. putting out pornos. It was uh, well. I got. You don't got time. I do. I have to. I have to now. I have a daughter. So it was just like. Mm. What's I, your do- What's your? How old is your daughter? Uh, she'll be four in July. Okay. And what's she'll her be name? four. Jordan. I named her after Michael Jordan, my hero. <laughs> That's cute. That's Jordan. Nice. Jordan Makita Kalix. Nice. So if That's nice name. so, are all your kids gonna be? All my kids are gonna be named. Well, next one is Scotty. Scotty is next. But Whether all my kids. All my kids are gonna be named after the most winning winningest team in the Chicago of the Chicago Bulls. Yeah. Got it. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Do you think you have fuckboy tendencies? Well, first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? One. You skip. Yes, yeah, skip one, you know. Yeah, What's one. your definition of a fuckboy? There you go. For me, see, the thing is, fuckboy for me is what people would call a groupie. Okay. What Explain people would call you. a groupie. Like, a fuckboy is something that's like your ambition is not really there. So you utilize, because for me, a groupie, when people call women groupies, that's weird to me because a woman is supposed to do what she if you desire this man or you want to be around this man, you have to do what you feel you have oh. to do in order to be around him, right? So, but when it's like a, a, a dude, it's like, that's a fuck boy to me. Like, dude, what are you doing around this guy? And it's just like, the significance is not equal. It's, it's not matching because it's like, all right, cool. You're just utilizing this person for what? Like, vanity, validation, and... and that that's what it is. Fuckboy is a person that seeks validation mm, from other people. From other people. Yes. And then does whatever needs to be done without doing the work. There to, you go. For the de- validation to match. I seen a lot of answers. I'm like, damn, he missed it. <laughs> but this is like, really? I seen a lot of your answers. I'm like, <laughs> but for real, fuck boy, fuck girls is like a fuck girl. Same thing. Like you hang around a girl and you're just like not your thing doesn't even necessarily have to be what that girl is about Mm -hmm. but you hang around them for the you know clout or whatever and and utilize that in order to or manipulate that in order to get what what you you feel you want and it's just like it's not deserved Mm -hmm. it's not deserving of you so all right man take care um sorry cameras if somebody was leaving and i'm not rude See? Sorry, guys. So, um, yeah, that's what a fuck boy or fuck um, girl. girl, fuck woman, fuck man, fuck, I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's fair. I, I like that. I like that. Hold on. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Thank you. Came out. Relax, Ike. I can tell what you're doing. I'm looking for it because it came out. It's in the messages. So do you have fuckboy tendencies? Of course, we all we all got fuckboy tendencies. I mean, we all have fuck people tendencies. Okay. Some of them, like, like I'll be what? honest, but don't For call example. me no fuckboy though, because I know people's definition of it is subjective. So That's it's true. like your definition of fuckboy, and you call me that, and it's like, yeah, nah, yeah. don't do that, and because. You it's know, like, but if like you say everybody has fuckboy tendencies, then why would you take that so offensive? Because my definition of fuckboy, uh-huh. you ask me, does everybody it's based have fuckboy? You ask me. So you don't want them to call you a fuckboy on your terms of what a fuckboy is? No, on what their terms what is. What their terms is, because people don't, you've never heard that of a fuckboy. What, what I said, your my definition? Description, never. That you've never heard that uh, as a definition of a fuckboy. So if that was your definition, then. Hmm, no problem. Maybe. Like. You know, I, I was a photo editor for Mad Long in order to be, I was a photo editor for Mad Long in order to be, you know, to try to get schmooze and get around, you know, the people I wanted to get. But it wasn't like no groupie antics for me. So it was like a little bit of it because, 
you have no business there. That's not your, you know, that's not your lane. But I'm glad I, I was a, you know, my definition of a fuckboy at that time because it gave me something to learn, something new. But do you, but do you, so you ask me this, have you ever Hello. led a girl to believe that there would be something more than there was supposed to be? No, nope, because I give them, I, uh, I give, I give a girl, woman, the heads up, like, listen, this is how it's, this is how it is, and this is how I am. If you want things to progress, mm -hmm. then this is what, like, everybody has this. And, my, well, standard, you. and yeah. my standard is this is what I need you to do mm -hmm. in order for us to move forward. Okay. And if you don't meet that, then you can't be mad at me. You could call me a fuckboy, and that would be that definition, but yeah. you could call me that all you want. But if you don't meet that standard, standard that I because told it's something you that, that I need, I need yeah. or I want, like, then... You can't be upset with me. Like I told you, I can't what it tell is. you. I like pretty. Uh, like I got a foot fetish. Like this okay. is not n no weird shit. But it's just like I got a foot fetish. So say I tell you, I like for your toes to be done every two weeks. Mm. And sometimes it'll be like, why don't you give her the money to do it? That's true. But you know, this is something I like. Mm -hmm. So why am I giving you? Like why am I giving you? Like, you know, I like macaroni and cheese. Why am I buying all the ingredients for you to cook it for me? Because what you like. I right, because what you like. So why don't you do it instead of like me it. doing that? What? Well, she don't got it. Then say that. Then say you can't do it. No, no, no. That's not the question. That's not the statement. Right. Not that's that I can't. Exa the, I don't have it. I don't have you're it. Miss, you're missing the point. I'm not talking about macaroni and cheese. Yeah, yeah. It's not about macaroni and cheese. I just, I just made that as an example. All right, cool. I tell you I have... I like white, I like your feet to be white, or I need, whatever. White polish. You say, I don't got it. So tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't, oh, don't continue okay. with, with keeping your toes undone and you're not oh, saying okay. to me, yo, this is the reason I'm doing this. Got it. So, you know, it, but it, it's just. But then that goes with the miscommunication. But uh, of course, of course. The, and, all people have. All people have. All people have that miscommunication. Because Cause we you have your moods in your days to yeah. where you're like, somebody will text you and you'll be like, oh God, I don't want to answer that person. Yeah. And then there'll be days like, yo, you them, out here it. giving that same person mm -hmm. on another day a whole paragraph. You feel me? So it's just appointed to the, how you feel, I, I guess, on that day. But if you're going to do something or if you, you you know I like something and I tell you that don't don't put it don't volley it back to me to make sure you to make have sure what you I like. I'm 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 happy no because if you want to be happy you're not going to be like you want a wedding ring and you're going to be like oh I'm going to put well, a lot of it's 13 okay cool you want a wedding ring all right cool but are you going to put 10 grand on a $20,000 ring no you're not but I you will you understand if the man tells you yo Things rough right now, but it, it's moving. Yeah. You would. Did I did I make my point clear, or is this like? It, it it is clear, but I think that what happens is most relationships. Then at some point, we can't be at a standstill to say, "Oh, well, I don't want to have to be able to say that, or I don't want to have to do that if that's something that I like." Why not? If we're complaining about communication. No, no. So that's what I'm saying. So if you're saying now that I like white toenail polish, right? I do though. Okay. And so, I do like Linkin Park after dark. Perfect. So if these are the things that you like and you've met a female now, mm -hmm. and let's say you really like her, so two weeks went by, you still don't see no white polish. What is it for you to say, hey, babe, tomorrow I'm going to send you to go get a manicure or a pedicure to get the white polish? Because you said absolutely nothing to me, knowing that I like it. But her actions showed that she can't do it. She, no. That's what can you, we sp we still speaking about communication? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you see, I'm not even giving him no rhythm. I'm like, it's all good. I want no beef. You're going to dance sometime. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> okay. okay. What would you tell your 18 year old self? So. Fuck these bitches, man. <laughs> oh my God. Excuse my language. And I don't use the term bitches, but fuck these bitches. Why? Um. <laughs> All right, I tell my 18-year-old self, validation means nothing. 
the coolest nigga in high school right now is corny. Is the wackest nigga you've ever seen in your That's life. Facts. And and I'll tell him that right now because the coolest nigga in high school right now. Well, one of them DMs me all the time, all the time. Like, yo, we should get up, and this and that, and this and that. And and you look at his, and I look at his stuff, and it's like, yo, damn, like you stuck in that time of mm-hmm. when you was fly mm-hmm. or when you was Trapping that guy. Oh so God, it's just like, yo, don't reco- don't want validation or acceptance from anybody. I mean, it's not like I wasn't myself. I was myself, but don't put a cap on who you are. Because I, I used that to. Cap. No, I, I used to put a. I mean, back then you I used to put a cap on my. I used to put a ceiling on myself because of how people perceived you. Perceived me, and it was just like, damn, I felt bad not being myself. Mm. So it was just like, really be yourself, Captain. Mm-hmm. And and um, no one's opinion matters really. Honey. Everybody. Not fuck everybody. Just in general. You know, the elders know. Yeah, you know, whatever. elders know certain <laughs> things, but it's just like Within after the time. elders fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. After well, the it's elders, subjective, fuck everybody. but what we're trying to say is fuck everybody else. Yeah. yeah. Has a guy or girl ever taken you off your game? Yeah. A lot of times. Yeah. A lot of times. Does that marry back to what you were just saying? Um see my game is who my what my game is well it depends on what you speak of game but game is the plan is the vision or the the, the you know the road and then they put their bad they and put they, their and they did their shit and that made it, and it brought me to a place I don't want when you bring me to a place like I always try to be happy I always try yeah. to be the, the like the jovial because yeah. I know I'm an asshole so to bring me to that person is just like it's not good and I'm there like. Cause I could feel myself, and then I'm like, oh. and then whatever like, greatness you were conjuring up conjuring gets halted, up, or it could be halted, it could be you know perturbed and stuff. It's just like every like it depends on the day. Yeah, somebody no. could you could feel you could, you're having the greatest day of your life. No, but when I say that, the question when I say that's a question, you mean like maybe before you had one of your great ideas that went viral. And prior to you ignoring a person that was going to halter that, like, have you ever had a person that haltered a great idea that you had, and then you got in an argument or whatever the scenario happened, and then later on you saw that idea flourish, flourish through oh, someone else? Oh, yeah. With the time now. Like, uh, even with times now. If we're, we're talking comedy, we're talking, like, it's, yeah, of course I've had that. I've had that situation. I mean, I, I don't think... I, n- Anyone hasn't had that. Well, we're asking you about yours. To them. Oh, you want yours. like the the real shit? Like specific, but we need you to specifics. minimize it. Specifics. All right. Um. As a creative. What was your idea? What was the idea that you had before it came out? <coughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> uh, styling. Okay. I was on style. A lot of. Uh, I was on style. People. <laughs> I'm very fashionable. Not today, but I'm you very are, fashionable. Darling, you are. I love the jeans and the jeans. Oh, I love, a, I love, a, I love a Canadian Scarf tuxedo. Scarf is mm-hmm. everything. I love a Canadian tuxedo, but uh, well, I'm not wearing the denim under this, but still, um, yeah, I was. It was one with styling. It was one with comedy. It was all right. Cool. I'll do the comedy one. It was just a person I was just supposed to like. We're supposed to be on the same platform. Okay. We're supposed to be on the same platform. It was just like. It was a like, yo, I want you to hold my hand type of situation. Mm. And I was like, dude, I can't hold your hand because, nigga, I got to hold my own hand. Yeah, like, I barely know what I'm know, doing. You know, like, exactly. So I just need you to be with me here. Yeah. You know, I don't think I'm superior because I never feel anybody's inferior to me. Yeah. But unless they bring me to that, to where I got to. Check them. Yeah, but we're not there what's yet. Your, That's not what's the your, question. Where's your, where your mortgage at? <laughs> like, like, where's your deed? Yeah. Like, uh, like that. But it got to that, and it was just getting, it was getting to me because I knew our potential. Mm. Like, like, what was, like, who, who people look at me now, is, look at me as now is mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, this is just a funny guy, but. 
You're deeper than that. No one was doing viral video before I was. No, no one, no one, yeah. no one. No, for a fact. You can Google me. Yeah. It was the point where YouTube was giving. They used to give you like awards weekly of how you ranked amongst people, and it was like, yo, yo, let's do this, let's do this, and and um, it's just like people's vision are never parallel to yours or they never see as yours so they just like kind of sab- self-sabotage it self-sabotage mm. and they, they, and they, they, they need something to blame and they do it and sometimes it's you yeah. and it's like yo why are you blaming me if I'm you know I'm not the captain of the ship but we out here you know Toussaint oh. Louverture de Saline together like let's let's do it huh? and they Go don't so now. it's just like you know you get it so it's like um, it could have been like Wilder Out would have been mine Mm. Wild and I would have been mine. There you go. What, that's I, an I idea promise. That I, you had. Listen, no, of course I'm not knocking. Wild and I would have been mine. Mm-hmm. Um, you name it. But do you understand that though? In that, that because it, whatever needed to be done for you to make that be yours wasn't done. But that also means that there's something so much far more. Greater oh, of course, I know. I never, you. I never question God's plan. Yo, for real. Is this now I'm more accepting to the spirituality outside of religion? Like I'm not. Re- no offense to no, anybody no. that is religious, but I'm not religious. I, I can as long as you're always in an open space. No, to of grow course. And be so better. it's just like more understanding of like, yo, self. This is where I'm at, and I'm at this place for a reason. Like, God is never gonna put you in this world. I mean, a lot of niggas are dead, but God needed them niggas dead. Like, this is like, <laughs> it's it. just that you have to accept that. No, of course. I have a lot of homies that like I wish were here, but it's just like, yo, it wasn't that. You that cannot wasn't go story. against what. God this, has planned. You can't go against the story. Like, once you lick right. your finger and turn the page, you can't be like, no, it should have been, been like, you can't write that in. Way. So it's just like, God's all right, cool, plan. accept things as they come in. But a lot of things could have been way more different. If. Should have, could have, would have. Should have, could have, would have. And I don't, do, I don't live like that. Perfect. So, yeah. What's this, happening next in the next minute? We're going to lighten up a little bit now. Yeah. Ooh, Sorry to be so heavy. No, I be uh, like, <laughs> people look at me and like, yo, I thought you was a comedian. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I am, but nigga, I have I have right. a brain, right? You know, so educated. yeah. So next question: Have you ever done anything strange for a little bit of change? Never, never, never. never. Let me rephrase the question, please. Never. Have you ever done anything strange for a piece of change? I don't like I'll be a little piece of change. What's strange? It's some pussyism. <laughs> Be a big piece of change, like I don't understand. What, like right, ate some so pussy no. or some shit? No. Strange. Eat, what eat pussy strange? No, it's not strange. Well, a piece of change, it is. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Have you? Because there's women sucking dick. But that's the for point. forty dollars U.S. in point. Dominican that's Republic. That's the line of okay. questioning. Have so you ever done something strange? No. no. For a little bit of change. No. You claim to be really PG. I don't know if I believe it. It's not PG. I'm not. I'm not G. even PG. I'm not even PG. <laughs> It's just right. I've never. Uh, we got seven minutes, so let's, yeah. um, let's try to Brought get myself to that. questions off and see if we can do your um. Go on, no. Go ahead. All right. What advice? Last question, and then we're gonna do our rapid fire question. Go on, no. What advice would you give others trying to get into the comedian field? Give us a we use digest version. Social yeah. media is not the way. <gasps> okay. For real? It is the way. It helps, but it's not the way. It's not the way. It's, it's a not way. The, it's a way, but it's not the way. Okay. The way is to be on stage. You got to be on stage okay. if you're going to call yourself a comedian. I know a lot of people are like, oh, uh, I'm a comedian. I'm a comedian. Yeah. That's good. I like that. You could be a comedic actor, a comedic performer, but being a comedian is somebody that goes on stage and tells jokes. So if you're going to label mm. yourself a comedian, be ready when people book you. Like, yo, come to, come do the show. Come do the show. Advice. Don't think you're going to tell people's memes or tell other people's jokes. And, and like, yeah, that's what, reaction. yeah. Come on, man. Oh, that's a good one. Load. Load. All right. What's your top favorite fashion designers, alive or dead? Damn. It's rapid questions. Rapid Last questions? Time. All right, cool. Um, I love on. Ralph Canadians. Lauren. Okay. Ralph Lauren is a, is a goat. Okay. Um, okay. Um, 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 uh, uh, Benjamin Bixby. Um, what does he do? Um, Andre 3000. Benjamin Bixby is his oh, line. Okay. Um, okay. Brooklyn Sky DM. Those are those are Brooklyn Sky is me and my partners, and nice. DM is my partner. Okay, listen, ain't nothing wrong with no. Them. You have to. No, no, no. It's not even promotion. It's just like, yo, yeah, I know dope. this nigga's doper okay. than everybody. And, um, and one more. Uh, Lord. 
I love Tom Ford. I love Tom Ford perfect. stuff, man. Perfect. I love Tom, man. Perfect, perfect. Current fashion obsession. Come on, Denim. rapid. Denim, perfect. Tall boots or short boots? Tall boots. Vintage Chanel, new Chanel? Vintage Chanel. Favorite fashion magazine? What's faster? Anna Winter's thing. Vogue. Vogue? Yes. <laughs> it's all right. It's the Hennessy. It's the Hennessy. No, it's not. I love Vogue. No, but Vogue. you couldn't remember the name is what I'm saying. Yeah, I was... It's uh, the Hennessy. Uh, oh, okay. okay, it's fine. New York and L.A.? Right, New, New York. York. So, yeah. Duh. Come on, celebrity, son. Celebrity fresh and crash. Both male and female. Patty LaBelle. And male. Patty LaBelle, huh? Patty yeah. LaBelle's your fashion crush? I would eat Patty LaBelle's... Fashion crush? Yes. You like her fashion? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what Fashion crush? Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle, Andre 3000. Perfect. The oh, flyest people ever. Yeah. I love it. All right. So. Go on. Uh, Tell me about any upcoming projects. Any promote upcoming projects. Promote yourself. Promote yourself. Promote yourself. Promote yourself. Promote yourself. Yeah, yeah, Vlad. What stage are you going to? Vlad, I did everything, baby. You what stage are you going up? Upcoming? I toured, I toured with. I toured with Cardi B. I toured with Major Hype. I toured. I've done everything. Carnegie Hall, no. Barclays Center. Uh, right. Do well, yeah. you have anything coming up so people can uh, come the, and see? The porno I got coming up. When is that where and when? Can they watch it? I and will how, definitely let y'all know. It's on Just Vlad. www.justvlad.com. There you go. Perfect. It's called uh, the, uh, Morris Best Nut in the Best Pipe Work Ever. Mm -hmm. um, Perfect. I got a mixtape called. I'm, I got a mixtape coming. Well, not a mixtape, an album coming out. Yeah. The whole world is Haitian. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, the whole world is Haitian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're the free. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the whole world is Haitian. First free black people. If America, if the world right, follows listen. America and America <laughs> follows black culture, the whole world is Haitian because oh, Haitians were we the first free you. people. You All right, cool. Um, a lot. Of, I got a what's lot of your, stuff. Tour with major. Tour with major hype. When is that um, tour? Dates. Um, it's a lot of days. www.justvlad.com. There's merch there. There's my porno will be there soon. All right. Because yeah, I give it up. Um, and um, are you in the porno? Yes, it's me. You're the star. Morris Best Nut is me. My alias. Okay. Morris Best Nut is you. Comedic porn. And um, it's actually a great idea. It's a lot of. I got a lot of stuff. There's merch coming out. What's happening in the next two months? I just did a... Are you going to the Buju concert in any of the other Barbados, states? Guyana. Uh, I'll be in... Uh, you going to go to the Barbados show? Yeah, I'm going to go to the Barbados show. Well, I'm in Big Chop. You all right? We'll I'm going to fly my kite. Right? <laughs> all right. Um, Can we come with you? Pun intended, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Did you finish the song? Oh, God. Oh, yes. And we want to do... Because, you know, of course, we're fans of yours. So we want to do finish your finish, finish that song. Finish that song with you before we end this. Let's go. Okay. Wait, I gotta do the dance here. Damn, I had this song in my mind too. See, because you're trying to trick us, but the Lord, Amen, Hallelujah. We we'll let you. We we'll let you try to trick us. We're gonna do finish that song with just that. Cross. Okay, we're ready. Come on. Look down to the wire. <laughs> it's a beat. Kick a beat, kick a beat. Okay, go. Janine, New York Janine you getting this? Song? What you say? Janine, you getting this? Oh, Khalid's getting it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Queens, New York finished that song. Gotta get your groove on. Before you make it back, before you make it back, it's kind of hard because all oh, because this is how you do what? it. What? That is not how you do it. <laughs> wow. I don't know that song. And I don't this know that song. This is how you do it. You don't know, Mont you don't know Montel Jordan? It's kind of hard because all oh, because this, this is, is how you do it. How we, we, this we, is how we, we, that nobody okay. does. This is how you do it. We, to we, all we. my players. Flavor. This is how was, we do was, it. That, that, that wasn't the lyric to ask you, though. Uh, but it's okay. it's that. It works. This is how well, we do right, it. We didn't have a go. We didn't have a try. Come on. We didn't have a go. That's not fair. <laughs> we are Jamaicans. And we just come right, from Brazil. Right, you got to put some West Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Work on your mouthing skills. 
<laughs> working your mouth skills, Kalia. <laughs> Kalia, you gotta work on your mouth skills. <laughs> Uh, do another, do another song. song. Damn it. Um, Come on. Fuckboy who? Oh, yeah. What? How do you say fuckboy in Creole? Oh, how do you say fuckboy in Creole? That's a good way to take us out. That's a good one. No, but we got to do another song. He can't. You know what he does to people that don't know the words? Sounds like me. Do I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Mal, 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 mal fick That sounds good. Mal fick <laughs> 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 Mal fick that's our episode of Fashion on Mal Fick Dare. Fashion on Fick Dare. Mal Fick Dare. Mal Fick Dare. Mal Fick Dare. Fashion and Mal Fick Dare. There you go. Yes. Sounds so fancy. So once again, follow us at The Fashion Addicts. Fashion and Fuckboys without the U. Ash, fashion and Fuckboys without the U. Fashion and Fuckboys without the U on YouTube. Yes. And also, once again, the people that break this all possible... Mathematics from S Street Media. Media. We got a new poster, y'all. Gross. Fancy. We stepped up in life. Get this good. Go to www.justvlad.com so you can see the comedic porn. The comedic porn. Yes, we. I'm. I'm ready for that. We'll find out if Just Vlad got a or a, a big shalom, a big there. cocky. It's there. A a report back I to call us. that a behavioral. You heard a Haitian nigga. I, I cried, nigga. And of, of course, shop at www.thefashionaddicts.com. Yes. Thefashionaddicts.com. <laughs> Bye, guys. To Lil. Lord. We have to do that again. No, you don't. We have to. You can't.